Okay, so welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to understand and see how we can install VS Code, which is Visual Studio Code. For this, we're going to go through the basic installation. It's I'm doing it on a Mac system, but if you have a Windows system, it's almost going to be the same. Uh, we're going to see how we can download VS Code and set up the environment for our C++. Okay, so the first thing that you should go do is go to Google and search for VS Code. Uh, which is Visual Studio Code. The first thing that you'll get is code.visualstudio.code.com and uh, it is automatically being selected for me uh, that it is set for Mac. Uh, if you have a Windows, it will show Windows, but in case it's not showing up like that, you can just click on this arrow button and select your Windows or Mac installer. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna click on this Mac Universal build and uh, it should start uh, downloading, yeah, like this. So the one that I'm uh, downloading right now is VS Code Darwin Universal, which is the version name. Um, so it's gonna take like a little while. Let's give it up. Yep, I hope it's visible now. And um, another 50 seconds. So, you know, uh, the, the thing is like, after downloading Visual Studio Codes, uh, you, we need to add some extensions so that it can work properly. And for that, we usually go to our uh, market space, which is by Microsoft again. Okay, so this is downloaded. So let me quickly install it and let me get back to you right away. Okay, so after downloading, it will basically be like a zip file. I just need to double click it. Uh, it's automatically going to extract for us. So it's right now being extracted and like this. And we'll go back to our main page. It's still extracting, and then we have, or you can just right click and extract as well. I mean, uh, anything would work. Uh, for Windows, it might be right, uh, you have to use WinRAR, but for Mac, it's all uh, since it's a zip file, you can extract it out right away. Now, you will find something like this you need to double click this, and you should be um, coming up with a pop screen uh, with the Visual Studio brandings. Now it says, okay, yeah, open. So it's a basic installation, you know, even if you do it for your Windows machine, it's it's the same procedure. Uh, you don't really have to do much of like settings to be changed, uh, just go, go next, 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 it's, it's, just, it's all the same thing. And uh, now what are we gonna do? We are going to add the extensions. Now extensions tab can be uh, is visible over here as well. You can see it over here, and you know you can find all the extensions. For this, we need uh, four essential extensions which are required. I'm just going to go to and explain to you all one by one. So the all of the by the way all the links which I'm you know referring are in the description as well. So you know and in the reference doc as well. So you can check it out from there. Uh, the first one is this. Uh, which is going to be from the market space by Visual Studio. It's known as C slash C++. It's basically like the base compiler, which is going to help us compile everything. You can just simply click on install and it's going to take you to your um, VS code and it's going to show you like open Visual Studio code. You just need to click this and you know, uh, it will open it for you. And you can just install it. For me, it's already installed, uh, so I don't have an install button. But you know, if you have uh, not installed this, it, it will show an install button over here. Now, the next one is this one. So it's in a C++ IntelliSense, uh, which is going to help us to set up the GNU and the global tags, everything. So I'm just going to click on this as well and uh, open Visual Studio Code. And uh, this should probably take me to the IntelliSense as well. Okay. Now, both of these being done, uh, we have the third one, which is like this. So this is an extension pack, you know, all the new commands and all the CMake files, which you usually use, uh, or code spaces, or, you know, even color themes as well, are integrated into this. So we don't have to, you know, worry about those as well. You can install this. Uh, I generally recommend all of these, you know, so it's like a one shot thing. You don't really have to do it again and again. So it's much more easier and you can just install it. And once that is done, your extension pack is also done. 
Now the most important thing which we need is the code runner. Okay, so code runner is basically a universal runner. Usually it is installed, but if it's not, you know, you have to install this as well. It, it basically allows Visual Studio Code to, you know, run all these commands. So it's pretty essential, you know, uh, it's and it's a one-time thing. Once you're done, you can, you know, pretty much run any language you want. So just click on install, open Visual Studio Code. And it's already enabled and installed for me, so it's, it's, it's all done. And once that is done, you can uh, go to uh, a new file. And uh, you know, you, what you can do is you can load a sample program. Now for me, uh, I'm gonna speed things up uh, and I'm, I already have a program for with me, which is a little big one, but I think uh, I'll stick to this. So I'll just copy this and uh, you know, so paste it over here. And to save it in C++ file, I have to go to file, then save as. Now make sure that you save it with the extension .cpp, otherwise it won't understand this is a C++ file and that is pretty important. Okay, so it's loading uh, and you can name it like um, test.cpp. Okay, how about one, test one. Yeah. yeah. Now this being saved, um, I just click and close all these. Okay, and even close this as well. Now this is like the one step which is being done. Now what else you need to do? You need to go to your preferences. So for me, since it's a Mac, it's going to be code preferences. For if it, for if it's a Windows, you can go from file and you know preferences and settings. So preferences, and then you have to go to settings. Okay. So after opening settings, you would come across something like this. Okay. Now this is your settings tab. Uh, you basically have to find something uh, known as code runner, which is going to be for your terminal. Um, you can search for code runner. Okay. Um, now, code runner would take you to something that we need to look for. Let me find it for you. Um, yep, over here it is. So it says code runner run in terminal. Okay, this is the command that we need to enable. Usually it's disabled, so you know we have to just check that box up, and this is going to allow us to run all the codes over here in the terminal only. Now, if you don't uh, uh, like take it up, the, what is going to happen is it's going to run the programs, but you won't be able to see the output over here. Usually it's disabled when you don't really have want to you know see the output or it's a, some sort of like a backend thing. Uh, but for us, it's going to be all testing based thing. So you know this is what we need to check. Now, if all that is done, what you need to do is you need to press this play button, and you should be able to see um, your code being run over here. Okay, so it says this, and for me, what what it was is uh, it, it's going to print a text. So you know, let's just wait. Okay, so it says hello, I'm C process. Tell me what's your name. So my name is Amin. I'm gonna press enter. Hello, nice to meet you, Amin. And you know, uh, and then this is all done. So I, I, that that is how this you know uh, compiler works. If you got everything right, you should be able to see this thing. You can write this program by yourself, or you know just copy it from the bottom or description or the reference doc file. Anything would work. You know, uh, the main idea is to test everything and uh, make sure that everything is running. I hope you understood what I, I was trying to say. And by now, you should be all set with your Visual Studio Code. Uh, if you are not, then um, try to message me and you know let me know uh, if you are having any issues. Uh, and I'll, I'll help you out as uh, as much as possible. Till then, thank you everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.